Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. I'm Teresa, and I love doing decluttering, tidying, and cleaning videos, and I love hoping that these videos will give you the motivation to do the same. In today's video, I'm going to be tackling one of my friend's closets. She has really beautiful clothes, wonderful shoes and purses, but she was having kind of a hard time accessing everything, so uh, I should just kind of let it get a little bit out of hand, so we're gonna tidy that wrap right back up, and we are going to see the most amazing transformation, so I hope you will stay tuned to the end, but if you like videos like this, I'd really appreciate it if you'd give this one a like, and also I'd really love it if you would subscribe to my channel. So here we go. So here we figured that the easiest thing to do right now would be to start with taking out her shoes. She has a lot, a lot of shoes. There were lots of boxes. So I'm going through all of this, taking the shoes out, and we're going to take them into the other room and organize them. So let me tell you that this shoe thing that she had, although it really worked out quite well, was kind of a pain because it had to be put together with individual clips and I had a hard, hard time trying to move it. But you'll see it works out just great in the end. So while I'm in here, I'm just going to give the flora a quick pickup and then we're going to start pulling everything off the shelves above my head because I'm going to use that. My intention at least was to use it for the shoes, but I find a better use for it. So right now I'm just taking everything off those shelves. So now it's time for a quick vacuum just to get uh, everything off the floor. She's got a Kirby. I use the homeowner's vacuum. I actually used to have a Kirby myself. I like my Dyson a lot better, but a Kirby's a decent vacuum cleaner. The only thing I don't like about them is that they're extremely heavy. But I use her vacuum cleaner and I just kind of get it tidied up in that area. Just let me love you. So now I'm just going to quickly clean up the baseboards with the Clorox wipes that she has and it's pretty impressive that she has those considering with the quarantine it's really hard to get those but we got those and we also cleaned off the shoe bins so that they would all be clean. And you can see here that this is a bit of a bear trying to keep all the clips together so that the bin wouldn't fall apart. It did do a good job of holding lighter shoes, just not too many shoes. And you'll see that I'm also going to put things on top of it later so I could only go so high. But it really was a good bin. It was just, uh, I wish it was a little bit stronger. <laughs> Just let me love you. 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 Just
So we've taken the shoes out of the closet and moved them into her bedroom area and we are now sorting them based on if they're sneakers or if they're sandals, if they're heels, boots. She had a lot, a lot of shoes and uh, really pretty shoes too, but um, we were just sorting them out so we could put them back neatly. So also keep in mind that when you're going through your closet, if you are keeping shoe boxes like these, they take a lot of room. So you're better off to have uniform shoe boxes and you're gonna see that we have those for her as well. But it's better for you to not have these big boxes in there. Get rid of those and give yourself the space. So that's what we're doing. We're breaking these boxes down and getting rid of the, the innards of the boxes. So here we're putting together a couple more of the shoe stands that she has so we can use them because believe me, we're going to need them all. So just so I can interject here, um, I at one time had a zillion shoes as well. I probably had about 300 pairs and I whittled my way down to about 40 pairs. I probably need to whittle down a little bit more. So seeing this many pairs of shoes really doesn't shock me. Although I really wish that um, she would take down her shoe collection a little bit. As long as she's wearing everything she has and loving everything she has, it's fine with me, whatever amount of shoes she wants to keep. So now we are pulling the handbags and purses out of that area of the closet. Actually, they were kind of all over the closet. So we're pulling those out and putting them on the bed so we can start sorting those as well. So here's the inside view of us also getting out any additional purses and whatnot. 
And now I'm also pulling everything down off the shelves because I'm intending to use these shelves to line up the shoes. So don't laugh here. I'm actually looking for what I call naked hangers, hangers that don't have any clothes on them. That's just a, a thing of mine, but I'm looking for the hangers that I can pull out and then we're going to start pulling the clothes. So now I'm going to take the purses that we had and I'm going to try and line them up and you'll see me play around with them a few times. I want to get them in a order where they're still easy to access but also easy to identify which purse she has and we're just going to like tuck the, the straps into the bags and, and put them away neatly. So as you can tell here, I'm having a heck of a time with those purses on the top because they were pretty high but also not very structured. So I have to play around with them a couple times before I can get them to a place where she can see what purses she has, but also they're not going to fall over or be messy. Prefiero otra mujer, chica si te vas y juegas otro papel que nunca te quedará, como eso de serme fiel, el día que me falte tu piel. I just love my Caitlin. She's just standing there waiting for direction. She wants to help so bad, but I was just in organizing mode. So, but I couldn't do this without her. I really appreciate her. She's the best. So now we're just going to unload the hanging clothes and put them on the bed so we can start sorting through them. Para te de mi amanecer, 
so you'll be able to tell as we're taking these clothes out. Originally, she did have them in somewhat of an order. She had coats together and then wintery type clothes and then summery type clothes and stuff like that. So we're just going to go back and put them back in that order again. They just kind of got a little bit messed up over time. And once again, I just want to tidy up the floor a little bit. I'm going to move these remnants off to the sides so we have more room for anything that might be getting onto the floor or hanging over by the floor. So I tuck those off to the side and we're just kind of cleaning up anything trash wise and, and organizing things again. And once again, it's time for a quick vacuum just to get the little dust bunnies off the floor. So we're back to loading in. This time we're putting in the shoes in the area underneath the purses where they're going to fit. Most of those over there are the sneakers and then we're going to try and put similar shoes together throughout all of those shoe bins. So these were the clothes that were on the shelves that were folded. So I had put them on the floor to take them off the shelves and now I'm taking them into the other room so they can be sorted. And then once again, a good sweeping just to get the dust off the floor. And now it's kind of hard to see them until we get a little further into it, but we have shoe boxes. We've put the other shoes into these plastic shoe boxes that um, she got from the dollar store and they are arranged and we are putting them up on top of the shelves to make the shoes fit neatly.
And then we continued on with putting the shoe boxes on top of that shoe bin. And then we finish filling up the rest of the shoe bin with the other shoes that we have. And of course, Caitlin was helping me out here. So, you know, I would have to wait for a second between her getting one pair of shoes at a time, but whatever it takes, right? So then I decided that putting the shoes on top, the tall boots, if I folded them into each other, they could sit on top and not fall over. So I thought that was a pretty good solution. And then now we're just loading up the rest of the shoes on those other shoe holders that we had to um, fix in the other room. They were a little bit flimsy, but they work for now. So sorry for the tight uh, clip of me here, but the homeowner came in and she didn't want to be on camera. But we were talking about the shoes that we were putting away and I think she was pretty happy with how we did it. And now I'm folding towels that were in this little bin that she had, and we're gonna put those towels up way on the top shelf. And now I'm folding just a couple sheets and pillowcases. And then just another quick round with the Kirby. And now we're gonna start loading the clothes back in as neatly as we can. So like she originally had it 
she wanted to put like things together, which is wonderful. And we started out this time putting the coats on that end because they were closer to the shoes and the bags. So now here I'm folding up the pants because it looks like we're not going to have enough room to hang them on the bottom shelves. So we end up putting them up on the shelves folded and she's going to work on getting them hung up onto the bottom shelves later. So again, she didn't want to be on camera, so I'm trying my best to keep her out of the frame. So you get to see me close up, yay! But I'm trying to sort these jeans and pants and kind of separate them out so they are in like piles together. We put the shoes up on top, her dresses are all on one side, her shirt's on another, pants are all together, the towels are on the very, very top, skirts are up there as well, and she's going to hang more pants when she has more hangers. Her dresses were separated out mostly by season, so that's easier for her to access. Her coats are back on this side, as well as her really beautiful purses and shoes. It will be easier for her to pick out a nice outfit. She can totally see everything and she's just gonna she's gonna look fabulous and she's got so many beautiful clothes to work with now. So I think that, well, I know that she wound up quite happy with this and uh, we did too. It was a beautiful transformation. So if you like more of these kind of videos, please like this and subscribe. Thanks so much guys. See you next time.